Hey guys, from our previous video on screen copy, we taught you how to record and stream your phone's audio. However, there are some problems with that solution. 1. It requires a 3.5mm headset. 2. You need two mics if you want to use voice chat on your phone and on your PC at the same time. 3. The setup is quite confusing for some. With that, a user with the name Neckbeards Anonymous gave us another solution for recording and streaming audio from your phone. So for this video, we're going to teach you how to set up that new solution. This will also work on video game consoles as long as the console has a 3.5mm combo port. Here are the things that you need. A TRRS splitter for your phone, two male-to-male -male TRS cables, and lastly, the headset that you use on your PC or whatever audio setup you have, including your mic. The first step is to connect your headset or whatever audio setup you have on your PC. Next, connect the TRRS splitter on your phone. If your phone doesn't have a 3.5mm port, you could get an adapter for that. Connect one end of the TRS cable on the splitter's audio out port and the other end to your computer's line in port. When you connect the cable to your computer, a notification will pop up. Make sure to select Line In as the device. However, there might not be any notification on laptops. Lastly, connect one end of your remaining TRS cable on the splitter's mic in port and the other end on your computer's audio out port. Again, there will be a notification on your computer. Make sure to select Headphone. For laptops, you will have to get another TRRS splitter if you have a 3.5mm combo port. Also, your laptop's mic in port will act as the line in since laptops don't have a line in port. The audio might not be as great because of that. Another thing to take note for laptop users is that you will need a USB sound card if you will be using a 3.5mm headset since you won't have enough 3.5mm ports. Before we set things up on your computer, I'm going to tell you first the idea for this setup. The audio signal from your phone will be sent to your computer's line in, which will be recognized as an input on your computer. Now, you might be wondering why we connected your phone's mic port to the computer's audio port. The reason for this is that the mic signal from your mic that is connected to your computer will also be routed to your phone through the computer's audio out. Meaning, you will only be using one mic for your computer and your phone simultaneously. Like what I've said in our previous tutorial, if you don't need a mic on your phone, just connect one end of the male-to-male -male cable directly to your phone and the other end to your computer's line in. No other cables and adapters needed. Now that we have everything connected, we can now configure some things on your computer. First, make sure that the playback device selected is your headset. For Windows 10, you can click the sound icon on the notification bar, click the combo box, and look for your headset. Next, we have to go to the control panel. Hardware and sound, then sound. At the recording tab, make sure that audio from your phone is being detected by your computer by looking at the volume meter at the right of the line in. Play any audio on your phone and make sure that the meter goes up. For laptops, look for a meter movement on a microphone device because we use the mic in port as the line in. Now, if you will not be using a mic on your phone, skip this step. Look for the mic you are using on the recording tab. Again, you can verify that by looking at the volume meter at the right. Talk to your mic or tap on it, then look for the device where the volume meter goes up. Once you found your mic, right click on that and click properties. Go to the listen tab and check listen to this device. On the drop down box, look for the audio device that corresponds to the computer's audio out port connected to your phone. In my case, that's the speakers. Click apply. To verify that you selected the correct device on the control panel, 
unlock your phone and go to the voice recorder. Start the recorder and make sure it's recording through an external mic. Talk through the mic you are using on your PC or tap on it. Make sure that a signal is being detected by your phone by looking at the voice recorder waveform. If you don't know which device to choose, test this method on each device until your phone detects a microphone signal. After that, click OK. We can now start recording or streaming the audio on the application of your choice. For this video, I'll use OBS since it's the most common one. Open OBS, go to settings, then go to audio. On the mic slash auxiliary audio, make sure you have your microphone selected. For the mic slash auxiliary audio 2, click on the drop down, then select line in. For the case of laptops, choose the microphone device that you used as a line in. Click apply, then OK. Your line in will appear on the OBS audio mixer as mic slash aux 2. To test if your mic works on OBS, try tapping on the mic to see if the volume meter goes up. For the last part of the setup, click on the gear icon on the right of the mic slash aux 2. Change the audio monitoring to monitor only if your desktop audio is not muted. Or select monitor and output if your desktop audio is muted. In my case, I'm going to mute the desktop audio so I chose monitor and output. Click close. After this, you'll be able to hear the audio from your phone. Try playing music from your phone to see if your setup works. If you can hear the music through the headphones connected on your PC, then your setup is working. That's all. You can now start recording or streaming your phone's audio. If you want to learn how to use screen copy, or if you're having a hard time with this setup, you can watch our previous video right here. That's all for this video. Like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more content.